What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft here on Magic of the Gathering online slash UK dot org. Uh, the stipulation we're doing today is from Mark, Mark, Mark B. Take all legendary creatures, exception for power, second tier power, and relevant lands. Also, if you could give a shout out to me so I can show my girlfriend, I'd appreciate that. I'd appreciate... Does he say I'd appreciate thank? Mark, come on, buddy. I'm trying to give you a shout out, and you and you 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 totally messed up the the message here. I'd appreciate thank, is what you said. Um, that being the case, either way, Mark Mark's girlfriend, how are you? This is a shout out for Mark. Total Mark shout out here. And uh, I want to take this primeval titan, but we could actually take Shieldred or Pia. I think Shieldred's probably stronger. I, d I definitely mean Mark B. I thought Mike was going to join us today, but uh, I guess not. All right, I'm going to take this Shieldred. All right, legendary creatures. Iona. Oh, man. We should just be reanimated if we're going to take out the legendary creatures, right? Yeah, we'll take Iona. Because we have to, right? Nothing else is in here. Oh, Ulamog. All right, so so we're going strong here with the legendary creature stipulation. <laughs> what if there's just one every pack? We just have to take it every time. I'm totally on the table with you? What does that even mean? Hmm. Let's find out. I don't know which one you'd be if that's what you mean. How do you do, fellow nerds? Blockout, who are you? Uh, oh, so you're avocados. Avocados of the zero. Nice. I'm Ragavan, so we're opposites. We're not, we're not affecting one another, theoretically. And because I show these off to you guys, I got this in the mail today. It is a Captain America number 100, 7.0. It is the uh, first issue of Captain America in his own title again. There was a while where he wasn't in his own issue. So it is the first Captain America issue. It's a retelling of the origin. And there's a Black Panther appearance, as you can tell. So, from 1968. Not too bad. Not too bad. It's always interesting when people say not too bad about their own things. This thing that I have is not too bad. I mean, that's why I got it, right? Not too bad. Hopefully not shipped media mail. No, it was not. It was shipped priority, which is funny because it still got. It was supposed to be here last Wednesday, and it got here today. And I got the UPS, the USPS tracking info, which is like, your package has, has been delayed, but it's still on its way to you. And I'm like, okay, but can you give me more info? <laughs> Legendary planeswalkers uh, are, are a plenty. Liliana seems pretty good, though, for reanimating. Let's take the Liliana here. See if we can make something out of this. I also like Survival. We can just discard the Legendary Planeswalkers. Oh, that's a Legendary I actually don't mind having. This is really interesting so far. Uh, this is a yikes for me. I will take the Relevant Fixing over the 8-drop over the eight, eight Angel. Seems seems better. We are looking real red today. Hold on, let me lower this saturation here because this is like, I feel like I'm sunburned. I guess that's better. Oh boy. Well, that is a legendary creature, all right. I'm going to take this fixing and assume we're going to be green in some way, shape, or form. Because if we're not green, we're in trouble. 
And taking Progenitus here is just not where we want to be. Uh, we could take the Pia. I mean, does Primeval Titan count as relevant fixing? It feels like it should because we have all these things. Ancient's got that second email you sent over. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to take the Titan and assume it's fixing because we have Kodama's Reach here, which is also fixing. That's going to go on the main deck. Uh, we can just take Shriek Maw here. I eh, Abrupt Decay is good too because now we're just Abzan Legendary boys. Oh, Plow Under came back? Yeah, sure. I'm game. So our first pack yielded, what, five legendary creatures? That's pretty... Wow, Assassin's Trophy? Okay. Okay, we're doing it. Legendary creatures. Oh, there's no legendary creatures, but there's also nothing like super great in here, so we don't even get a freebie. I guess I'll just take Sylvan Library, which is pretty okay. When you held the comic against the screen, it seemed to... See yeah, there was... <laughs> to see through. <laughs> yeah, there's like a moment where you can... There you go, right there, and it's like, oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, I'm okay with Library here. Legendary boys? None. No legendary boys. It might just be Tri Builder here. I like Tri Builder a lot. In lieu of legendary boys, it's probably a Tri Builder. Oh, it's your it's your Gristle Dad. Oh, I bet this Eureka comes back, and then we can just Eureka all the things. And this is actually a deck I'd probably play Eureka in, to be to be totally honest. I don't even feel like Amiri Angel is that bad here because we have like Primeval Titan, Sakura Tri Builder, Kodama's Reach. Like it's actually a pretty decent uh, Amiri Angel deck. <laughs> to be true. All the who's are they? I mean, if we're having to take a Legendary, I'd probably take Scarab God over Geist of St. Traft. That's an easy blue splash if we want to play that. Hmm, Vivian Reed. Also in Tomb, but we don't actually have any way to get things into the graveyard. Whereas Vivian Reed can find us creatures. I do like Knight of Autumn as well, but Vivian Reed does a similar thing. Like it kills the creatures or the uh, the enchantments and the the other things. Hmm. Let's go with Search here. Avengers cool, but our top end is pretty well covered. And Tomb is a way to get things into the graveyard. We just don't have any ways to get things out of the graveyard yet. This does almost feel like an Oath deck, maybe. We actually can cut some of the early creatures. What if, like, these were our only six creatures in the deck? And maybe, like, Archangel Avacyn. That makes sense. I had to confuse. <laughs> ah, good times. We have a good time. Well, this is a legendary boy. Massacre Worm would be better, but... 
Like, we're at a point where maybe the blue is actually better than the white. Celestia Signet's pretty great here, though. I'll take a Celestia Signet. On color signet is where you gotta be. If this is a Guild of Lotus, I'd take it. Probably just want the bail off here. It's decent against the aggressive... Is it Sun Titan? Do we have any Sun Titanable things? Sakura Tri-Builder. That's pretty much it. We'll take Lumbering Falls in case we are actually going to splash these blue cards. Oath of Druids will probably come back. There's the Eureka. Are we a Eureka deck? Hmm... Maelstrom Pulse is a strong pick. Eureka is pretty good, though. I'm going to take the Eureka. I think the upside of Eureka is just way too cool. And we're trying to have fun here. We're not trying to... Also, we have Planeswalkers as well to put into play. Like All these cards are fine to put into play with, with Eureka, right? Also, the game zone. Brady, I did get your email. Oh, Devoted Druid or Grave Titan? I think it's probably Grave Titan, actually. We already have Search, Kodama's Reach, Sakura Tribuilder, and Signet. And I want to make sure we can maximize our Eureka here. Avid Fiction, what's going on, my dude? The Night of Autumn and a Vindicate comes back? Wow. I think if we're taking one of these, it's probably going to be Vindicate. Yeah, that's... Although we can play Night of Autumn off of Eureka, I think Vindicate's still just too strong here. All right. Well, that's another Planeswalker. Sure. Has the blue become better now? Maybe? If we can go Eureka into Time Walk, it's pretty nuts. Tooth and Nail, also pretty nuts. Oh, boy. So the problem is there's a legendary creature in this pack, so I think we actually have to take the Time Walk, or we have to take the Kithian. That's how this is going to work. I'm pretty sure the card that says opponent can't cast spells in your turn is Grand Arbiter. Uh, we cannot take Tooth and Nail because of the stipulation. So we either have to take Time Walk because it's power, or we have to take... Um, one of the legendary creatures, which would be Kithian. So, I'm going to take Time Walk. And I'm going to hope this works out. Tropical Island. Oh, boy. All right, so. Yeah, we can take Tropical Island here, and it makes our Time Walk splash a little better. And by a little better, I mean a lot better. We actually have a lot of playables here, so I'm, I'm wondering if this is just going to end up being a fixing pack. And I, I'm hoping it will be. Mm, legendary boy. Taiga, probably not what we want to be doing. Also, natural order is pretty comical because we actually have... N none of our threats are natural orderable except for primeval titan, which doesn't really fit the bill. So, I'm just going to take the Ancient Tomb. Taiga is nice, but it's the only color we are not. So, could take Exhum, but we don't actually have anything to put. We don't have a way to get our things into the graveyard, unfortunately. Bayou and a Savannah. Wow. <laughs> hmm. Well, that is unfortunate. 
I also do like a Gonti a lot, but I feel like it's a little better to take the fixing lands. Um, yeah, we're definitely heavier black. Yeah, I'll take the Bayou. And we'll hope for something else to get fixed on the way. Uh, no legendary creatures, which is nice. Not taking a five drop. I could see taking Thief of Sanity here. What if we only play like permanence and ways to ramp so that we're like instantly favored on Eureka? Hmm. All right, no legendary guys again, which is nice. I kind of like Dark Ritual here, just to... Nah, it doesn't really do much, though. I think Thoughtseize is good. Stirring Wildwood. All right, now I'm glad I took the Bayou, because we have another option for uh, green-white land. All right, lands are coming together, so that's pretty good. We'll probably need very few forests, because we already have one, two, three, four, five green sources in our lands. Uh, I will definitely be doing a set review, probably on Freshly Brewed with Ollie, and probably also on YouTube, so set reviews all around. Huh. Well, we're definitely playing that. Yep, legendary artifact, planeswalker, planeswalker. So we can definitely take tooth and nail here. And eternal witness is gas because you can actually search for it with tooth and nail and get it back. So that's pretty cool. Oh, we're gonna have to take Aurelia here, unfortunately. I just ate spaghetti. <laughs> what a what a time to be alive. Can you say hi to my dad? His name is Rob. He's watching a stream and he doesn't understand computers. Monsanto's dad, Rob. How are you doing, buddy? Glad to have you with us. Unless you just made that up, in which case that's that's manipulative. It was. I spilled it. <laughs> the Savannah came back. Oh, God. That's incredible. I got real excited there. Did you guys hear it? Take Amiri out. Take Thief of Sanity out. A Languish is nice. Ooh, I, I like a Languish. It's on my sweater already. <laughs> my palms are so sweaty. Oh, we have a good time. Tell Kelly I'm glad she stopped watching the mango worms. Oh, I'm going to take Nissa World Waker out. God, we still need more cuts? This deck looks pretty sweet. So wholesome. <laughs> Thoughtseize is good with Eureka, where you're like, oh, what do you got big here? I'll take that, and then we're done. Scaragod might be better than Demon Lord Bells and Lock. It probably is. Take out Garrick Relentless. I think I just run around 41 here, I'm going to be honest with you. Okay. Uh, 
All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, six of our lands. This is nine green sources. I think that's fine off the top of our head. Uh, one, two, three, six black sources. Probably also okay because we actually uh, hopefully won't be casting a ton of these. One blue is what we want because we can search it out. And two, one, two, three, four, five white sources. Uh, that also seems fine. Oh, we can actually get one more because we are playing 41. Oh, we also have Signet for white, so that's even better. All right, cool. Yeah, it seems good. All right, let's see if this hot mess can uh, can get the job done. I don't think six white sources is too many because we have double white, double white, triple white. So if we actually want to hard cast these at any point, like. And I like that we have both uh, Tooth and Nail and Eureka. So we have alternating plans here. Johnny Big Large and Talls, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Why do it look so friggin' red? What's going on with this camera? Oh, the white balance is way too high. All right, that's better. What are we waiting for here? The voice? Come on, let's go. Voodoo Squid, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Welcome back, that is. Yeah, we'll keep this hand. Oh, rude. That's rude. So long, Tribe Elder. I hardly knew you. <laughs> How about Eureka? Oh, all right. We're doing it. How about we just draw Eureka? Looks like we made it. Oh, wow. Look at this guy. Eureka. Gristle brand. Oh, boy. Wow. Can you imagine a Eureka here? It would be utterly insane. Time to just return the Sakura Tribe Elder. Ooh, two two irrelevant lands. Seems good. I 
We can even put this into play. We just put all five into play with Eureka. Two Titans, an Angel, and a Demon walk into a bar. <clears throat> Interesting. So they like played one spell during main phase and then another spell during the end of the turn. Fascinating. Thank you. Do we go to two? Sonohan, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. All right. I'm just going to go face here. Deal me, uh... There you go. You figured it out. Hmm. Well, Shriekmaw kills one of these, but then we die. Actually, no, we're not dead. Mill shouldered in ancient tomb seems fine. Vintage cube ends on January seventeenth, so as long as we can dodge one extra damage or one extra attacker here, I think we're okay. Surprisingly okay, but <laughs> wow oh I have the win in my hand I uh, I didn't realize it because I I don't know how to read so it's very difficult for me to understand when I have the win on the board <laughs> by mistake Tin Man, thanks so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. Really appreciate it.
let's bottom that dude. <laughs> oh, all right. All right. Like you did last summer. Get wrecked. You know, slow roll, collect a defiance. I don't even feel bad. I've been using hairspray for a long time because I prefer my hair a bit longer than I used to have it for a long time. I used to teach her a glue type stuff. Anyways, after you talking about it a while ago, I decided to get some of the Baxter California clay pomade. And boy, do I love it. Thanks for the man giving tips. Nice, dude. Glad to hear it. Well, that's awesome. You just put a little bit in the palm of your hand, and then you warm it up, and then you, you work from the back forward. Like you do. Let's get a swamp because we want to hit four swamps for this gristle brand. <laughs> oh, now they're in it. Still not in it. Okay. Well, that's too bad. Hmm. Hmm. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Six. Like you did last summer. Let's let's walk again. Like you did last year. Boom, 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 Put on top and put on top. Look at the top four. Huh. You. And you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> like the only thing we can do is play time walk here. I guess we can play Shieldred. Thank you. I kind of wanted the time walk here, but I think it's probably just better to get Primeval Titan out. Let 
We can also ultimate Vivian Reed, which is pretty cool. Perfect fits. Thank you so much to have a. Thank you so much for to have a Twitch. I was gonna say to have a Twitch baby. Thank you so much for for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Eight months in a row. What a time to be alive. Is this resolving? Like, what's going on here? I don't know what's going on. I just want my primeval titan to resolve. There we go. God, so many lands. This is why I didn't want to run any of these guys out there. Uh, let's get an island. And then with prime time, we'll get lumbering falls. And I guess Savannah. Just make sure we do all the things before I... Was in Vietnam for a couple weeks. Glad to get back and catch you on the stream. Really appreciate it, buddy. Hope you enjoyed your trip. Do we still call it Nam after the war? Isn't, isn't it... I feel like Nam was really like... Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I actually don't know which is better. Ulamog's pretty beefy. Okay. You got it. <laughs> oh, yep. Let's use that. Oh, let's just use a nail here, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. <laughs> what do we put into play? Gristlebrand and Aleshnorn. Legends. Every day. Man, this Aleshnorn has some nice power and toughness. Again, do I want to thought seize them? I don't know. Oh, elk tears, we got a good one, boy. Magic Avocado with the resub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. I 
I'm going to keep this hand. And we're going to hope they don't have turn one thought sees again. They do not. All right, we're doing it. Come on, permanence. Let's make Eureka great again. Hmm. That feels like you probably could have waited, right? Like we did last summer. I'm from Eureka. It will never be great again. <laughs> well, that's obnoxious because they can just bounce our Ulamog, but... Actually, we can destroy that. Helps them get a black, though. I'm not sure we care about that. I mean, it's much better to keep the Ulamog on the board, right? It also prevents them from being able to, like, path to exile our guys if they don't have another white. Shut up and take my money. Chris, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. <laughs> thank you, dude. You're a good dude as well. Two good dudes. Come on, let's draw a Gristlebrand or, uh, you know, one of the other dudes. <laughs> Dorito Kid, was that you? I'll get a swamp instead. <laughs> Hope your day is going well. I haven't been around much, but word on the street is you're looking for a spicy modern deck to play. You should take a look at this restore balance. Restore balance? Oh, no. I'll take a gander. Restore balance. We actually played against one the other day, and it felt like I felt like a real glass cannon type deck. So I was kind of. Fascinating. Is it worth it for this? I don't know. So we're over Ulamog, Liliana, Shriek, Ma. I don't know what they have in hand. They could have a bunch of deranged black creatures. Deranged. <laughs> we can wait it out. Path to exile this guy. Magma Jet. I don't want to go all in on Eureka and give them like Thunder My Hulkite and stuff, and then they have Path to Exile for Ulamog. Like, it feels bad. So we traded a Shriek Maw for a Dire Fleet and a Magma Jet, and I think that's fine. So next turn, we can Eureka and Time Walk, which is pretty interesting. So if we draw something big, it's actually going to be insane. I just want them to tap out so they don't have Path to Exile, but I don't know if that's ever going to happen. I spoke too soon. I want it all, and I want it now.
All done. Is this good? Yeah, Elmog, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Man, straight back from Nam and up with the resubs. I like it. Destroy all your permanence. Yeah, this is a good this is a good choice. Ever had weasel poop coffee? It's not life changing. Con condensed milk and coffee, on the other hand, isn't either. I've never had condensed milk and coffee. That's interesting. Put those permanents in the trash can. Why are you the way that you are? So slow roll in the win, slow roll in the loss. Everything is slow. It's uh, just a just a big slow fest up in here. Yeah, it's Annihilator 4, and you have four permanents. What problem is? <laughs> I mean, we're definitely going to time walk again. 11, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And they're like, but, they're, they're like, but we're still alive. They have five cards. They didn't put anything into play. They have no permanents in their hand. Yeah, the the so like the the split timer and the ten minute timeout is definitely some of my favorite things about MTGO. There are ways to exploit the ten minute timer, obviously, like this, and uh, make it miserable for other people. But on the other hand, there have been times where I'm like, I gotta go to the bathroom, and I could use two or three of my ten minutes to do that, and that's great. So. I don't I don't know what's happening right now. All right, we're going to be a, a Warby Parker glasses trying on stream now. Warby Parker, if you're out there, you can sponsor me. This is the ones I like. I'm going to put the ones I like on again so we can go a whole stream with the ones I like on. I'm pooping. They make their glasses out of plants? That's amazing. Went to skip to when OB came back and realized I wasn't on YouTube. That actually happens a lot. Let me actually clean these. They got a little... Uh, I want to I wanna, I wanna spoil it for you guys right now and let you know that this is actually... These are these are fake lenses right now because these are just trial pairs to get to see if I like the frames. So, uh, you know, I want to I want to spoil the magic, but hipster Frank in full effect here. So, <laughs> oh, Mister Grandpa Lapore, I mean again for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crying out loud. Uh, 
don't know what's going on here. Like, <laughs> just, just you put him in the trash can. Billy, what's going on, buddy? Long time no see. Catching first live stream in the new year. How, where you been, buddy? Where are you been? What's going on? Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. You got to put pictures of them and hang them on your wall. I'll be like, oh, I just put a little picture right here and right here, and I'll just hang them up. They're also really light, which is nice, but I'm not sure if that would remain the case with uh, with uh, actual lenses in them. Been traveling and working things, but glad to be back. Are you are you back in Washington yet or no? Or just other traveling? <laughs> oh man, good times. I got a message from Nifty Chris. I don't know if you guys know Nifty Chris from the stream. I literally got a text message. This week's deal through T-Mobile includes a discount at Hungry Howie's. So, you guys, uh, you guys come here often? <laughs> Keep in mind, Chris lives in Washington, and there's no Hungry Howies in Washington, as far as I can remember. So he's like, hey, buddy, listen, I was on the T-Mobile app, and I just want you to know that T-Mobile has discounted Hungry Howies today. That's how you know your friends. <laughs> well, Billy, I hope you're enjoying your other traveling as well. I also never saw one in Washington. This is this is your mother. Please don't tap on your glasses, sweetheart. Oh, stop tapping on your glasses. Oh man, Hungry Howie flavored crust is OP, dude. Once I have Hungry Howie flavored crust and then I have regular crust, I'm like, what's wrong with this crust? Did you forget to season it? I don't understand. I wish I could try on glasses and see what I look like in them. You can. You can go to Warby Parker. Oh, they can see you from the game. Eight minutes later. Thanks for wasting my time. A big old Indian wedding. That sounds gas, actually. I, I'm, I'm a little disappointed you didn't invite me, but, you know, whatever, I guess. I'm blind as a bat. Okay, so in other words, you can't actually see out of the glasses you're trying on without the lenses in them. That's awkward. Pernicious dude, do you have it in any of the other places you live? In in, in, do they have it in any of the other places you live? Like right outside of Kent or, you know, anywhere like that? Okay, if, if we hit a green, this hand is great. I'm going to... I'm going to work on it. <laughs> We're so good at this game. Oh, I love Magic the Gathering. Oh, Lord. This is why we do it. I'm curious. What do you think in terms of the number of people when I say big? Um, a big Indian wedding. Okay, if you if you get married, definitely invite me. That would be gas. I would totally come to that, and we would have a blast. Um... So tell me the location. Like where was where did it take place? Cuz that'll give me an idea of what we're talking about here. 
I'm going to say like 400 people. 400 is my guess. In two cities. Oh, well, New Delhi's huge, right? So... Second black, second white, the black on the board. If I get married, yeah, I'll wait. I got time. I'll wait you out. Matthew Ori, I saw I saw your comment. I don't really care about so here's the thing. I don't care about like I don't care about like a comic being made of something, right? Like I care about the the characters in the comics. Like I like Marvel characters. I like Spider Man. I like Captain America. I like Iron Man. Like I like all the characters that are already existing. Um, and and so like just because they're making a comic out of a League of Legends character doesn't mean I'm interested in that. I'm not inherently interested in comics, um, based on the medium. I, I'm interested in the stories that already exist. So. Oh, 1,100 people. Boy, I grossly undershot that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Billy with the gifted sub to the accurate guess. That's pretty solid, dude. We can just tooth and nail here and put both of these into play. What's our plan here? We have seven total mana with Ancient Tomb. But we can't play a Lesh because we only have one Plains. So we could just play Scarab God here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sword Equip, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. That's that's paying it forward right there. Dark Petition. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do we just get to untap and tooth and nail here? Yeah, I'm actually liking these frames a lot. Oh, I don't know how he did that. I guess we could just go... Beans and cornbread, burp, 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 beans and cornbread. So I name blue because if they have treachery or vencer or cryptic command or upheaval or anything, like I just don't want them to be able to do that. So they did not. I feel like we're gonna bring in Thoughtseize here because it looks like they're kind of like a like a what's it called? They got Shriek Maw. It looks like they're kind of uh, stormy. Oh, very Mangucci. I like it. I like it. Yeah, Mangucci has... It looks like... So, <laughs> I talked about this yesterday. Uh, Oliver Peoples has a Gregory Peck brand. Uh, very uh, A style called Gregory Peck. And it's a, uh, a throwback to Gregory Peck's character in A Time... Not A Time to Kill. Uh, to Kill a Mockingbird. 
and they're like the more round frames. It's like the classic style. So I'm not sure if he has the exact kind, if he has those exact ones, but uh, they're very reminiscent of that. So yeah, Bird is lifetime banned. Ernie, however, is still allowed to play Magic. Philly, thanks for saying so, buddy. Appreciate it. All right, Grixis, and the only card we saw was Dark Petition, so I'm pretty sure it's safe to say it's a mm, Storm deck. Which means if we hit the right cards, Eureka's probably pretty good here. <laughs> you can Eureka in Talon Trooper if it's in your hand. That's actually a good point. What are you playing blue for? Uh, time walk. Literally time walk. Yeah, I don't know. these. The shape of these is great. I feel like it fits my face very well. And I, I don't say that easily. Like, I don't say that uh, loosely, I guess, is what I'm looking for. I don't know. I should be doing work, but instead I got gifted a sub. They say procrastination doesn't pay, but it's been proven wrong. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I think you uh I think you just broke the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think you just broke the old uh I think you broke me is what's happening here. I think they're gonna try to kill me this turn. They are not. That's probably good enough, right? You can also just play this. Is it better to just get both on board? Whatever. You know what fits my face very well? Your mom. Wow. Stirring and lumbering. Well, I own a naming blue. Seems like it'd be hard to go off with. They can kill Iona, but then we have like lots of damage here. Storm count one. Storm count two. The Dorito Kid. Thanks so much for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Like, they don't have a black answer for Iona. Oh, to finally be on the receiving end of Frank's welcome, welcome. <laughs> I'm glad I could give that to you, buddy. 
I'm glad we could finally share this together. It's the least I could do for the Dorito kid. Well, I guess it could be red, but she's a 7-7, seven, seven, so... Okay, okay. Yep, this is working out well. Tendrils in the graveyard, though. And empty the Warrens. Where did these cards get there? Are they discarded with Izzet Charm? Sure. Wow, if they can just go off through this, I'd be my mind would be blown. Yogmoth's will is going to be gross. I'm going to vomit. Oh, there it is. Six. Get a red. Manamorphose. They might not have it, though. Four more spells? Okay. Yeah, they can only play one thing now. Tendrils or Empty the Warrens, and it doesn't kill us. All right. You got it. Let's get you and Blooming Marsh. He went into Tooth and Nail? That'd be gas. But there's no Tooth and Nail, Nick. God. Oh, this is actually what we're hoping, because then we can Eternal Witness the Primeval Titan, which is so much better than Eternal Witnessing one of the other cards. This is aggressive. <laughs> oh, oh, mana flare. Oh, my God. I could have attacked with these guys. I mean, we have lots of blockers. We can, we can actually go one, two, activate, one, two, activate. We can actually activate both of these. Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, our deck seems pretty okay. All right, 2-0. Seems good. Seems good. And if you guys need updates to your wardrobe, be sure to check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You can find the link right in the description below you, or you can find it in my Twitch profile. You get 15% off, along with free shipping and free returns. It's a great deal, and they have super, super comfortable micromodal uh, underwear, sleep pants, uh, onesies, socks, anything you could really ask for. And it's a great way to help out the stream if you guys are looking for a way to do that. If it's something you need anyway, just definitely use my affiliate link. Helps me out, helps you out. So, so if you don't eat meat, what do you eat? Donuts? I, uh, I sustain myself on a diet of key lime, key lime pie fudge. And uh, spices from Key West. I'm always doing another vintage cube after this. This is not the hand we're looking for here. Uh, 
yeah, neither is this one really, but whatever. One green and we got something going on here. I'm not smart. What is the purpose of having micro small modals? Um, did I eat the fudge? Yes, I did. It was actually fantastic. I really wanted that gristle brand because I was figuring if we had it, our Eureka just gets better. Where are Big Mike and Swole Mike? Those are there at their respective places. As I am not their father, I cannot tell you. And I bet even their father can't tell you. This is an aggressive turn one. Dark Confidant? Sylvan Library? Nothing. Okay. Same. I like pretty much anything key lime flavor. It's very good. Well, definitely killing that. <laughs> Come on, green. All right, you don't have to show off with your Kodama's reach, right? It's not a contest, buddy. Burr, 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 burr. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What's your eight mana play? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, it's your nine mana play. Time walk. I built those glasses from him on stream yesterday for him. Wow. I'm actually liking these frames more than my actual frames, which are some. Wayfair or some Ray-Ban Clubmasters. And I'm wondering why. I'm wondering why I like them better. I think it's because the top are too thick, so I feel like I'm... It's kind of like hiding my... My face. Alright, Mana Crypt, you got it. Splice a card onto Arcane. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that'll do. Nice opening. Gotta love Holly. <laughs> That's a solid meme. That checks out. <sighs> Keep. A meme? How did I miss this? So yesterday in the chat, our opponent went crazy and did some really ridiculous things. Well, no, he didn't do it in the chat. In the game, he did some really ridiculous things on, like, turn one and two. Like, had, like, 11 mana and played a Lodestone Golem or something. And I think we're just done here. And in the chat, he's like, gotta love Holiday Cube, am I right? And uh, we ended up winning that game. Because we, like, stole his guy, and then we briberied them for, like, a Sphinx of the Steel Wind. And, like, they had all this mana. 
And they like though they balanced us, so we had to get rid of like four out of the six cards in our hand, and we only kept two cards. Hmm. Yep, that'll do. All right, we had a good we had a good run, guys. We had a good run. All right, this is why channel is broken. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If I'm watching on on Twitch, I'm not leaving. I'm just going to end the video. But if you're watching on YouTube, definitely check out the links below. You can check me out on Patreon and on Twitch. Both of those are great ways to support the channel. And um, yeah, meundies.com slash Frank Laporte, 15% off. Uh, free shipping and free returns. It's a great deal. Can't go wrong. Check out Aaron Kane Custom Deck Boxes as well. His link is in the description below as well. You get 10% off with promo code FRANK, so be sure to check that out. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. really appreciate it.